for Minister of State for Budget and National Planning, appears before the House Committee on Civil Societies and Development Partners. The focus is on international funding for various projects in the country. Donor agencies across the globe have been able to donate to this country in terms of projects over 10 trillion naira. So that is huge amount of money. And for us, you know, in the National Assembly and other Nigerians, they hate so much about um, donor agencies um, activities in the country, but they can't really see, you know, the impacts. The projects are not visible. I don't receive funds, and I have said so, the ministry doesn't get funds. Nigeria does not qualify to receive funds because Nigeria is not classified as a very poor country. The minister's explanation still doesn't sit well with the committee. How do they get those funds? How do you even transmit those funds to the country? We want to come with $1 million. How does that $1 million get into the country? And how do they appropriate that $1 million? In the area of their interest, where they want to intervene, I'm, when I say area of interest, that is like in the sector. If it's education, they have to meet with the Minister of uh, Education. It is based on education's needs that they will intervene. The House Committee on Healthcare Services also meets with the Regional Center for Oral Health Research and Training Initiatives for Africa. While expressing displeasure with the federal government for underfunding the agency, members of the committee raise questions on the provisions of the budget presented by the agency. Construction provision of network road network within the around the center. What type of road can you execute with two million naira? If you're only making 10 million naira for the country, and here you are presenting additional 405 million in expenditure. The center is not meant to generate, by its law establishing, to generate revenue. It was an idea of the GG before me to have a dental clinic whereby when the patient comes for biopsy, we do extraction fillings, we do manual surgeries, and we do facial reconstruction. The House of Representatives is also asking Nigerians to be wary of the kind of drugs they purchase following the looting of a warehouse belonging to the National Agency for Food, Drugs, Administration and Control in Kaduna State, where seized, fake and expired drugs were said to have been stored and awaiting destruction. Terry Ikumi, Channels Television News.